I bought more books. I told myself I wasn't gonna buy any more books until I moved so I wouldn't have to transport hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of books. But then I was like, mm, I'm already gonna have to do that anyway. Why not buy 20 more? And my physical TBR is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight tall stacks of books back here. That is my physical TBR. And I still bought more books. I've said this before. It's a sickness. It's an addiction. And I... I can't stop. There's a lot of books to talk about, so without further ado, let's get into it. The first two books of this haul were actually sent to me by the sponsor of today's video, which is Book of the Month, which is my favorite company ever. You know, the little blue box with the book inside. The books this month were so good. So I already read this one because I couldn't wait because this is one of my most anticipated reads and it was Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. I loved it. Read this now. Read this immediately. You can get it from Book of the Month. And this is like a hardcover, really nice version. So if you don't know, Book of the Month is a super popular and fast growing book service for readers and their mission is to promote new and emerging authors and help readers discover books they love. So their team vets hundreds of books every single month and comes up with a curated list for you to choose from of new and early release titles so you can spend less time researching and more time reading. Plus book of the month is risk free so you can skip any month and you won't be charged. And this is the other book I got, The True Love Experiment by Christina Lauren which they are some of my favorite authors. I just got two really good books from book of the month this month. They have the best prices for new release hardcover fiction. Like you can get your first book for only five dollars using the code flowers So if either of these books are, have been on your TBR or any of the other books on their website You should use the code flowers to get your first book for only five dollars. What a steal I can't wait to read this one, but pick this one <laughs> It was really good. So yeah, I'm gonna link book of the month down below so you can go check them out And those are the two first books of this haul. I wish I could like stack them where you guys could see can I do that? Okay, can you see that? Oh? Perfect. Oh, it's falling. Stacking them on these boxes. I'm so professional. I'm gonna keep stacking them. Hopefully the stack won't fall. The next book in this haul is probably one of my most anticipated reads of the year, which is Happy Place by Emily Henry. I'm annoyed that I got the hardcover one because I actually did want the soft cover to match my other Emily Henry books, but it's fine. This was all that's out and it's beautiful. And I guess it matches my book of the month books perfectly. I haven't read this yet. I've been saving it, being very patient and having a lot of willpower and not reading it because I'm doing a fun reading vlog vlog style video probably right after I finish this video um, and I'm gonna include this one in it so if you want to see me actually read it live I have a video probably after this one that you'll see. I can't wait to read this. I'm so excited. I had this pre-ordered since she announced it. Next book I was actually sent by one of you guys. I have a note from Nika, N-I-K-A. She said, hi Steph, I've been watching your channel for two years now. Your videos have brought me so much joy and the comfort you bring me has got me through a lot. Thank you for everything. Oh, thank you so much. I forgot that my Amazon wishlist is even still public. I know my storefront is, but I don't know how you even found my wishlist. But thank you so much. I've heard such good things. This is by a thread by Lucy Score and it says a grumpy boss romantic comedy and I loved things we never got over by Lucy score so hopefully I'll love this too I'll definitely be reading it especially if it's a boss grumpy boss thank you so much Nika for sending me this and somehow finding my Amazon wish list that I forgot existed next book is another one I had pre-ordered which was meet me at the lake by Carly fortune this is the same author that wrote every summer after which I loved I don't think they're connected at all but they look like they are because the cover is very similar but I don't think they are and I think I'm also gonna include this one in the reading vlog video there's been so many new releases this month I have more new releases that came out this month too that I've just been dying to read like why are all the authors coming out with books at the same exact time next is another new release which is King of Pride by Anna Huang I've been anticipating this one since I read King of Wrath was it two months ago but this one just came out I know that this one is about two of the best friends of the characters in the previous book but I'm excited to read it I everything Anna Huang writes I always end up enjoying so oh my god there's like a color scheme going on here okay this one I wasn't gonna buy because I hate the cover but but everyone was raving about it. It's a not so meet cute by Megan Quinn. I saw the trope is fake dating and a billionaire romance. And I was like, I eat both of those things up. Give it to me now. But I didn't want to buy it because I didn't like that there was a man on the cover. Like it would be so cute without him. Like, why is he there? Go away. But when I saw that there was anything mentioned of an alternate different cover, I decided to just get it. I think I might read this next. Something about it is just calling my name. If you guys have read it, let me know your thoughts. If you've read any of these, let me know your thoughts. This is getting a little wobbly. I don't know if this one's a new release, was it? I think this might be a new release, but it's Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. And I'm pretty sure it's the second book of, what is it? When in Rome? But I've never read When in Rome, but this one was giving bad boy, good girl trope. Like, look at him, he's all tattooed. And then she's like with these flowers. And I was like, mm, I want a cute, easy, bad boy, good girl trope. It's one of my all time cliche 
cliche favorites so when I saw this and Sarah Adams wrote the cheat sheet which I loved I decided to get this one but let me know if I should read when in Rome before this or if it doesn't really matter will you let me know because I don't really know then I have black ties and white lies by Kat Singleton she actually sent this to me in a PR package I got this like a, a while ago I was starting a haul stack so that's why this is in there but there was this huge box and written on the box it said something like it was in a guy's handwriting and it was a little handwritten note on this giant white box and it said like can't wait to see tonight wearing only this or something like that something scandalous where like a boyfriend wrote it and it was left outside my door while I was on vacation for god knows how long and I bet all my neighbors were like oh good for her no nope, it was just a PR box with this book in it I think this is a workplace romance that takes place in New York City so that's cool thank you for sending me that okay this is one I actually just read on my flight home I read it on my phone and I was like I need Need the physical copy because it was just so cute. It's The Brightest Light of Sunshine by Lucina Coney. I really, really liked it, but I know it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea because it is cliche and it is cheesy and it feels like immature at points. I was cringing at what they would say, but I looked past it because I don't know. I just really liked it. I'm not someone who usually likes really cringy cliche dialogue, but it did have that and I still enjoyed it. Race is a ballet teacher for Cal's sister and her, his sister is like six years old and he's like 30, but he basically has custody of his sister. So it's basically single dad trope, which you know is my favorite. Trigger warning for sexual assault, but she's dealing with a lot of trauma and like trusting people again. And they spark up a friendship and it was a friends to lovers, kind of forbidden. Was there an age gap? She's in college and I think he's like 30. So yeah, there probably is an age gap, but I thought it was really cute because of the friends to lovers vibe. I know that a lot of people would probably think this is really immature and cringy, but I had butterflies and I liked it And I read it in one sitting because I read it on a plane And I feel like when you read a book in one sitting it makes you like love it more So I was really invested in it and that's that then I just opened an exciting package and it had the invisible life of Addie LaRue as a PR I think the paperback just came out and I've never read it So this is me telling you guys to convince me to read this. I don't know why I've been saying this for maybe two years Please convince me to read this. Please convince me to read this and no one ever convinces me no one tells me what it's about. All I know is I'm pretty sure the romance is a subplot. Eventually I will read it when I need to read a book in public and I want to look like scholarly rather than having like a book with a man on the cover. That's that one. Thank you so much. Okay, then I have this one, which is A Man Called Ove. And I didn't even buy this one. I was at my parents' house and there's like a bookshelf in my room at home with all like my books from my childhood and like all my mom's old books that she's already read. And I was like looking through it and I saw this and I was like, I feel like I've heard of that before. And then I read the back and it sounded really cute. And then I started flipping through it and I found so many cute quotes just from like flipping through it that I was like, I'm stealing this. I took it because I was like, I feel like one day I want to read it. I heard it's sad and I posted a quote from it. I haven't read it yet, but I posted a quote on my story. Everyone was chatting it. Oh my God, that book's so good. That book's so good. That's my favorite book, whatever. So I took that. Sorry, mom. Okay, next is Everything I Know About Love, which I already own. I own the yellow version, but I bought this one because I'm annotating it for my friend Ellie. I'm only like this far into annotating it. I pick it up like very randomly, but I annotate every single page, every single line. So it's very time consuming. So like I'll like see it sitting on my nightstand and then I'll pick it up and start writing in it for like 15 minutes and then I stop. Um, but yeah, I bought this for her birthday, which was months ago, but I'm planning on seeing her this summer, hopefully. So I'll just give it to her in person and hopefully be done with it by then. And then by the same author, because I love that book, that was like my favorite book of 2022. I got her newer book, Dear Dolly, on love, life, and friendship. If you don't know, these are just like nonfiction memoir style books that this one literally like changed the trajectory of my life. So I got her new one. This is the hardcover version. I actually got this as soon as it came out and I was so impatient because it hadn't come out in America yet. So I I paid the international shipping from Waterstones in the UK to get it shipped to me the day it came out and then I never even read it. I started reading it. I remember I brought it with me when I got my nails done one day and then I never continued. So I need to. Oh my god, this is literally gonna topple over. Stay. You guys, I shit you not, I just got a knock on my door with a package. <gasps> And I'm pretty sure it's a book. The stack is collapsing. If this is a book, Amazon has the best timing ever. It is. This is Still Beating by Jennifer Hartman. I read Lotus by this author and I loved it. It was childhood friends. He got kidnapped when he was a kid. So it added like a whole other element to it. And then he returned home as an adult. He escaped. And it was kind of like figuring out that whole thing plus their romance. And then when I reviewed that one, everyone said, you need to read her other book, Still Beating, because it kind of overlaps. There's characters from that book in this one. And this one is also about a kidnapping, I think, because in the last book, 
Loki met up with these characters in like a support group. I'm currently watching Scandal. If any of you guys have watched that, it's so good. But I'm currently watching that and I was like, I need a, a, a kind of like, not true crime romance, but like another element where there's like, maybe just a dark, darker romance. So I'm pretty sure this is like, they fall in love in captivity. I think they were either enemies or they were like, childhood friends and then they got kidnapped and then they're in captivity together and they have to figure out a way to get out so yeah that's still beating by jennifer hartman and i think that's all the books i have this one in i have like a designated pile in my room of like books to do a haul video for as i buy them i like added them to the stack over the past like month or two um and i have this one in there but i think i've already included this in a haul previously but maybe i put this in the stack because this book is coming out soon it comes out in june so it says on here this is the arc but you guys know how much i love the summer broken rules so i think maybe i put this in the stack just to be like this book is coming out so yeah that book is coming out if you want to read a good summer book oh my god the bottom of the stack is cut off oh god now it's really gonna fall no 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 ow um but those are all the books for today's video thank you so much to book of the month for sponsoring today's video remember to use the code flowers to get your first book for five dollars i truly could not recommend book of the month enough i love them so much that's the end of today's haul haul videos are always quick easy and fun let me know which books of these i should read first which books you want to see me read in my upcoming surprise video that's the end of today's video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you want to follow me on my other social medias they're all linked down below as always and i'll see you in my next video very very soon bye Oh, I almost knocked my camera over.